Let's talk about TMJ. For those of you who don't know, plainly put, jaw pain. And I'm talking pretty high level jaw pain. So um, SST has proven tremendously effective for TMJ, even for extremely severe cases. And what do I call severe? Someone who's dealing with this with um, muscle relaxers, relaxers, opioids, and is actually on a liquid diet, literally cannot eat solid food. This is a problem. Um, the interesting thing about TMJ, it is quite um, treatment resistant with other modalities. Um, of course, if you show up with severe jaw pain, where do you think most treatments are going to treat you? At your jaw. Not with us, okay? And I think this is the key to why we've given uh, such good results for people who have tried literally everything in the kitchen sink when it comes to TMJ. So um, the jaw, it is a floating structure, actually, okay? And it will adapt based on your head position and your neck position because it has to interact with all these pieces here. So how your head will sit, so how your neck will sit, right, will dictate how your head will sit and how your head will sit will dictate what your jaw has to do, okay? So the very interesting thing with this is that when people have that TMJ, right, and they keep treating them at the jaw, but leaving their neck and their head this way, right? Can you see that they might get some relief, but that poor jaw is gonna have to readapt all over again. Let's go a little bit more complex. What if that neck is actually reacting to the fact that, I don't know, that person's pelvis might be doing this. Can you see? I mean, you could literally see my whole little, you know, Yorick, that's his name. He just twisted as a result of this. And until you fix this, this person's jaw is not going to sit in the right place. Um, and I have watched this when a client will walk in with severe, like level seven, eight TMJ. And it is the coolest thing. You put them on the table and you, you look at where the imbalance is in their whole system and you balance out their foundation, feet and pelvis, and they will get off the table and I have seen this over and over again. They're usually crying from the relief, actually, in that first session. And it is visible to my eye. It almost looks like their jaw just dropped out of their head. It's actually visible. So the interesting connection between fascia and TMJ is that all of those muscles here, this is a great depiction of it, are connected to all of those muscles down here. Not just that, we are designed from the ground up. A jaw issue is a roof issue in this analogy of a structure. We go after your feet, knees, pelvis, spine, and TMJ goes away and stays away. Completely non-invasive, non-pharmaceutical, and not just that, we're not just going to make this go away, we're gonna give you the tools to keep it away, to sustain that, and to get your life back, quite frankly.